The presidential office of Cheng Wadai earlier today said that the defense ministry intentionally did not inform the new administration about four more launchers deployed to South Korea as part of the U.S. Miss missile defense system THAAD. The defense minister says it was a miscommunication. Kim Yun Bin reports. South Korea's presidential blue house on Wednesday announced that the defense ministry omitted from a briefing last week the fact that four additional THAAD launchers had been deployed to the country, and of leaving out the fact deliberately. After investigating key military officials, we found that in the report provided by the defense ministry, the four additional launchers that were deployed to the country were intentionally omitted. On the other hand, South Korea's defense minister Han Min-gu said on Wednesday that the report contained all information that was necessary. I never gave an order to omit information, nor is that an order that would come from me. The staff working on the report believed that all necessary facts were there and that did not include the number of launchers. The Blue House also mentioned the minister of being invasive when asked by National Security Advisor Chong Yong about the deployment of four launchers at a luncheon over the weekend. When it was mentioned to him at a lunch on the 28th that four launchers had been deployed, Minister Han replied by saying, is that so? He says there were some miscommunications in that discussion. I believe there could have been some miscommunication considering our different points of view and the nuance of our conversation. If necessary, I will talk more about the issue after the investigation is over. Many local military experts say the defense ministry would have no reason to hide information about that. And that is hard to believe the Blue House was totally oblivious to how many launchers were deployed. Even though there was a short time adjusting to their post, that has been controversial from the get-go with the radar and its electromagnetic waves. It's hard to believe the people at the Blue House didn't know how many launchers there were. If they didn't, that's a problem. So and watched the first agreed in February 2016 to deploy that to the country to better counter North Korea's grown nuclear and missile threats. The battery was made fully operational in late April. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.